Most of us have seen extraordinary images from outer space. But what about deep inner space at the cellular level? A group of researchers at the University of Michigan are sharing microscopic images that are not only beautiful, but a fascinating and unique combination of science and art. These dazzling images are of tiny biological structures captured through the use of advanced imaging technology. By studying these images, researchers hope to find the causes and cures for organ disease. In the process, a new genre of imaging was born called bioartography that can be appreciated by both artists and scientists alike. The center is the Center for Organogenesis and it was founded in 1995 uh, by a group of faculty, including myself, that was very interested in using developmental biology as a way to help out people with organ damage. Over 60 million people are affected by organ damage and organ-related diseases each year. University researchers analyze cellular activity by viewing tissue samples through the latest advances in microscopic technology. So imaging is always there, it's always up front. The first thing we want to do is look at the tissue and see what happened to it. We're asking when we look through the microscope is what is the morphology? What do we see there? What does the cell look like? Is it happy? Is it dying? What are its neighbors doing? Tissues, when you section them, are pretty much transparent. So in order to see them under the microscope, you have to subject them to special stains. The stains adhere to sections of the tissue, turning the different types of cells a specific color. This helps researchers better identify the various components of their samples. And that ends up making it very colorful. And right away, we start seeing the artistic side of things. If you look closely at any tissue, you cannot help but be thrilled by the way the cell looks when you look very close at it. It's just so symmetric, it's so colorful. The forms and shapes are beautiful. Many of us have been talking for over 10 years about as we see a gorgeous image, oh, this, this is beautiful, and we want to blow it up and put it on our walls. And at one point, we were talking about how we were going to help our training program and we said, well, you know, what kind of fundraiser could we do? And we thought about getting these images together to sell at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. And that's how bioartography was born. The bio images are donated from the center's lab and other labs across campus. Once these digital images are prepared, then sample copies are printed in preparation for sale. Graduate student Kelly Van Dussen was the recipient of funds from a bioartography grant. She used this money to attend meetings at a research conference in New Orleans. It's really important for graduate students to be able to go to meetings because, um, number one, it's an opportunity for you to get experience presenting your research, and second of all, it helps you um, meet other members of the community. These meetings cost a lot of money to register and to travel there, and as a student, it helps to supplement the cost. While proceeds from the sale of bioartography continue to support students, these images have provided the center with an opportunity to educate the public about the science behind the art. This particular case, we have a picture of a retina, and the red cells here are photoreceptors. And One thing that I really like about bioartography is it's a way for scientists to be able to just show a little slice of what we do every day to the general public. And I think it's always good when you have um, a piece to really start a conversation, feel more comfortable about what we're doing in the lab, and it's not just that big mystery. I think the science excites me, and the science is so close to the art. The forms and shapes are beautiful. It's very compelling. <laughs>